when I was first getting into this field, I would try to work through these machines on like hack the box and try hack me. And I would get stuck like I am now. And then I would go to YouTube and I would watch like a walkthrough video of a YouTuber explaining it. And what took me eight hours of banging my head against the keyboard, questioning my career choices and questioning my own existence, they solve it in 15 minutes. And I was like, there's no way, there's no way I'm ever gonna be a pen tester. There's no way I will ever be at that level. And then what I learned is they're also not at that level, that those walkthrough videos, that person solved it ahead of time or likely just looked at a walkthrough themselves. They have all their notes pulled up on a side screen and they make that 15 minute walkthrough video for YouTube and they make no mistakes or they edit out the mistakes. There's very few people who are like, hey, let me do this live in real time and show you what it's like. But the reality is whether it's a actual pen test that you're doing or solving a machine on hack the box, the 30 minutes of just struggle bussing and troubleshooting I just showed you is what pen testing actually looks like. It looks like troubleshooting. It looks like Googling. It looks like using GPT. It looks like doing things that should work but they don't work in the moment and having to reroute and rethink, how am I going to solve this? How am I going to work through this? So everything I just showed you guys, it may not look as sexy as Hollywood hacking or short 15 minute walkthrough video, but this is real world. I do this for a living. I struggle just as much as you do. If I can get a job as a pen tester, surely you can also get a job as a pen tester.